I'm Dr. Susan Canney. I'm based in the University of Oxford Department of Zoology and I'm the project manager of the Wild Foundation's Marley Elephant Project. We're talking about an area in the country of Mali, West Africa, that lies below the bend of the Niger River between the town of Timbuktu and the border with Burkina Faso. This area is called the Gorma. Well, we found out that this is the longest migration of elephants in the world and that they're a very special population of elephants. They look slightly different. They're the most northerly elephants in um, Africa and virtually the last population in the Sahel. And they make this huge annual circular migration um, of about 400 to 600 kilometers. And by doing this, this allows them to survive in this really marginal environment. And Wild was, became interested in these elephants and wanted to know how they were doing and um, if they were threatened. And so it funded um, Save the Elephants and in Douglas Hamilton to uh, put collars on these elephants so that we could understand more about this migration and the threats to these elephants. Now this, this population of elephants is the most northerly population in, in Africa and they make the longest migration of all elephants in the world, a circular annual migration of about 500 kilometers. Um, and we and Wild funded some scientific research to try and understand this migration and what the threats were to the elephants and Save the Elephants and um, Dr. Ian Douglas Hamilton performed this research and we, and we found out that there are two main areas of threat uh, for these elephants. There's Lake Banzena, which is the last source of water in the dry season that is accessible to elephants. And there's a, there's a pass through the mountains called the Port des Elephants the gateway of the elephants, and this is the pass through the mountains that they need to get from their dry season range to their wet season range. The key thing is to keep the whole of the migration route open. And so to do that, we're working with the, we're working at national levels, but we're working particularly with the people of this area so that they can find ways to live alongside the elephants. And we're doing this through the schools, through the local communities, through working with tourists and working with the government um, services. This is a great example of Nature Needs Half because it addresses a whole landscape and it allows nature, large animals and humans to live alongside each other in face of great social change. <laughs>